Zoho Desk allows you to stand out from your competitors by offering exceptional customer service through a dynamic and easy to use platform. Simply streamline customer interactions regarding questions and issues that your customers have and ultimately cultivate loyal relationships through unbeatable customer service. Now Zoho Desk also offers a free plan for up to three agents that is more than sufficient enough for small teams. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this Zoho Desk tutorial for beginners, I'm excited to help your small business enhance its customer service activities through Zoho Desk, which is a free online all-in-one help desk solution. Okay, so before I walk you through getting up and running with Zoho Desk, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into my computer and launch into Zoho Desk. <music> Okay, so here we are, we've just arrived at the Zoho Desk website. Now to arrive here, all you need to do is head over to zoho.com forward slash desk, or you can click the link down in our description below the video, and that's gonna take you here. Now it's important to note that that link in our description is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan through this link, then we will get a small commission, and this just helps us continue to create educational content for this channel. So thank you in advance. Then once you've arrived here, simply navigate up to pricing. Then simply scroll down to the four plans that you can see down here. Today, what we're gonna do is focus on the free plan that allows up to three free agents. And this free plan offers all the essential tools and features that we need to further enhance and streamline our customer service activities. Especially for small businesses with a small support team, a small help desk. However, if you decide you want to get more out of Zoho Desk, you can always upgrade to these paid plans later down the track, especially as your business grows and expands, and therefore your help desk needs to grow, then you can always upgrade at any time. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and try now and get started for free. Simply come down and enter your company name and then enter your phone number. Then come down and click continue. To simply set up our account, the first thing we want to do is add our company logo. Then once you've uploaded your company logo, come down to your support email address. This is your free support email address that you'll be using to receive issues or questions from your customers or potential customers in the form of tickets. However, what you can also do is use email forwarding and rather than using this branded email address here, you can change this to your own branded email. However, for now, we're gonna use this support email address. Then come down and click next. And remember, under the free plan, you can engage and collaborate with up to three support agents to help you manage and answer, resolve, all the different tickets that are coming from your customers and potential customers. So go ahead and add the email address of two other support agents that you want to collaborate with on Zoho Desk. Then once you've added your first agent, come down and click invite. Then once you've added all your agents, come down and click get started. And just like that, we've arrived at our fresh Zoho Desk account. Now, when you log in, you will arrive under the tickets dashboard. If you're not too sure what tickets are, basically a ticket is the information between a customer or potential customer and a service representative or agent. The idea is to resolve any issues that your end users are facing and continue to monitor and improve your excellent customer service. So for example, at the moment you can see this default ticket here, and then we have these two tickets that I created earlier from a test account. Now the free plan of Zoho Desk only allows you to receive tickets from email and respond via email. 
However, the great thing is that the majority of tickets that come from your customers or potential customers are going to come from your support email. Now to locate your support email, simply navigate over to the far right hand side and click on setup. Then simply navigate over to channels and below channels click on email. And under support email address, you can see your support email. This is the email that your potential customers or customers that want to submit a ticket, maybe they have a question or they need some help, then this is the email that they will use to send their email to and that will arrive within your Zoho desk. So here we have our primary support email address. This is the name of the email, which is our business name, Cindio Media, and then you can see that the email is fetching. Now, if you wanna create a new support email address, simply click here, and this is where you can go ahead and create a new support email address. However, if you are a small business, most likely you only need one support email address. That is going to be sufficient enough for your small team. However, if you are a larger organization and you have multiple departments with different support teams, then you can go ahead and create multiple support email addresses for the different departments within your organization. So what I'm going to do is navigate down here and click cancel. Now, if you own your own custom branded domain name, then what you can do is set up email forwarding. And basically that allows you to create your own branded support email that will look more professional than this Zoho desk branded email. And the process of setting this up is straightforward, however slightly different depending on the email provider that you use. So if you need help setting up your custom branded domain name and email within Zoho Desk, I recommend getting in touch with Zoho Desk's support and they will help you with this process. Okay, so what we're gonna do is navigate back to tickets. And what we're gonna do is navigate over to this ticket over here. Now you can see that this ticket is currently open. We can also assign an agent to this ticket. So if I click here, I can come down and select myself. And you can see that this ticket has been assigned to Stuart Gould. Then for example, if I navigate over here and click on this ticket, that's gonna open up the conversation down here. Now, within the free plan, you also have access to macros, and macros are basically a set of actions that you can take when engaging with tickets. For example, sending emails, creating tasks, leaving comments, updating fields, and more. So here we have the conversation. Hey, why have my ads stopped? I need help. So this could be a customer that's reaching out to our support email because they're having issues with their ads, the ads that we are running for them. Now, if we navigate up to the top right hand corner, we have two main actions, reply to all, and then we also have comment. Basically, if I click on comment, this allows me to add a comment internally into this conversation. And this is only for other agents to see. This customer down here will not see this comment. This is only for internal use. So once you've added a comment for other agents to see, you can come down and click comment. And then to reply to this customer, what I would do is come down and click on reply. And I can simply come down and start composing a response email to ultimately try and resolve this ticket as soon as possible. As you can see up here, we have other formatting options that we can use to compose this email. And when you're ready to send, simply come down and click send. And before sending, what we can do is also attach files if we like. Now over on the left hand side next to our email you can see basic information about this ticket. You can see the email up here, who this ticket is assigned to, then we have the status, the due date, ticket information and additional information down here. If you want to edit the information on this ticket simply navigate up to this pencil icon and click here. And then go ahead and simply fill out the information that you want to add in regards to this ticket and then come down and click save. Now, if we navigate up to conversation, next to conversation, we have resolution. If we click here, what we want to do is add notes in regards to the resolution, the outcome of this ticket. So let's say, for example, we resolved this ticket. What I would do is add a note about the resolution. For example, we resolved this ticket. The client simply updated their credit card, which had expired. 
Then I would come down and click save. Then next to resolution, we have attachments. This shows any attachments that have been added to this ticket. We also have approval, which you do not have access to under the free plan. Next to approval, we have history. If we click here, this shows you the history of the interactions between the agent and the customer or potential customer. And as you can see, most recently, Stuart Gould updated the ticket. Resolution change from none to we resolved this ticket. And then you can see the rest of that explanation that we added under resolution. So what we can do now is navigate over to the left hand side and click on tickets again. And down here at the top we have the ticket that we just resolved. What I can do is navigate over to open, click here and then come down and select closed. And as you can see the status has been successfully updated for this ticket. We can also delete the ticket, edit the ticket or simply have a quick view of the ticket. Now within our tickets dashboard what we can do is also view our tickets under different view types. So for example at the moment we're viewing all our tickets within our dashboard as all tickets. If we click here we can simply come down and select the different type that we want to view. For example if we click all tickets that's going to show us all tickets that we currently have selected. We also have miss chats, my open tickets, my tickets, open tickets, overdue tickets and we have a lot more default views down here. We can also come down and we can add a custom view. However you do not have access to this feature within the free plan. So for example what I'm going to do is scroll up and click on open tickets. And that's going to show me these two tickets that still have the status open. Now what we want to do is cover the knowledge base. Simply navigate up to KB. And within your private knowledge base, this is basically where you can go ahead and create articles that are designed to help organize and help your agents navigate the way that they interact with your customers or potential customers. Essentially, depending on the nature of your organization, what you want to do is create articles within your private knowledge base for your team, for your agents to help them find the information they're looking for in terms of answering questions, resolving tickets, dealing with specific customers or prospects in the right way that aligns with your organization. So at the moment, for example, you can see that we have a default article here within our private knowledge base answering your first ticket. If we click here, we have a basic article within our knowledge base helping our agents answer their first ticket. So what we can do is exit out of this default article and over here you can see how many times that this article has been viewed, the comments our team has left, likes and dislikes. We can also edit this article here if we like. Now to add a new article for our knowledge base all we would do is navigate up to this plus and then simply come down and add a title about this article and then down here we would add the body, the content of this article. And then down here what we can do is add an attachment to this article. This could be a training PDF and then we have other options on the right hand side. So what we're going to do is click cancel for now and then navigate over to customers. And then under customers this is where you can manage all your contacts in one place within Zoho Desk. These are our contacts that have sent an email to our support email and those contacts have been recorded in here. What we can also do is navigate over to accounts and for example if we were an organization that worked B2B business to business then what we could do is simply navigate up to this plus icon to go ahead and add an account of a larger organization rather than just individual contacts. And under account owner this is where we can select the agent that's responsible for managing and building the relationship with this account. So what I'm going to do is cancel out of this and then if we navigate down to the bottom left hand corner we have chats and contacts. For example if I click on chats this is where you can engage in conversations with people, with teams across different channels. And then if we click on contacts, this is where you can locate your contacts that you want to engage with. Then finally, if we navigate up to the top right hand corner and click on our profile, 
down here we can customize our profile if we like. Now if we navigate back over to setup and then navigate down to users and control and select on agents. And this is where you can manage agents, teams and their permissions within your Zoho desk. Then if you want to add an additional agent, simply navigate up to new agent. You can also see information about your agents over here. For example, we have all agents. There are three over here, not confirmed. We have two agents that currently haven't accepted their invite. And then at the moment, we only have one active agent. Now, if we click on an agent, for example, if I click on myself, this is essentially a scorecard dashboard of each of your agents. And this basically displays the metrics of the individual agent's performance. For example, if we navigate over to the time period on the right hand side, you can see that we have the last seven days selected. If we click here, we can select last 30 days or these other time periods down here. We're going to keep seven days selected the last seven days. And you can see that over those last seven days, we've had two open tickets, zero tickets on hold, and only one closed ticket. And you can see that all these tickets have come in via email. Over here, we can see the first response time. So how long it takes on average for our first response when we receive a ticket. Then we have average response time. This is our average response time when engaging with our tickets, engaging with our customers or potential customers. Then we have the average resolution time. How long does it take for us to close a ticket? And then we have other basic analytics, for example, the happiness rating. Then if we come down, we have ticket volume. What is the ticket volume that this agent is receiving each day, as well as the backlog on hold and closed tickets. And this allows us to measure our KPIs, key performance indicators, basically allowing you to optimize your performance and focus on areas that need improvement. For example, it might be your first response time. You might need to increase that or the average response time. Maybe you need to work on that. However, that is everything we wanted to cover in today's beginners tutorial, helping you get started with Zoho Desk so you can further enhance and optimize your customer service. This was just a beginner's tutorial that covered the free plan within Zoho Desk. So what we'll do is link a more advanced tutorial down below in the description once we've created that tutorial for those that want to get started with a paid plan and make the most of all the extensive features that Zoho Desk has to offer. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Zoho Desk tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this help desk software, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in our next video. Take care guys.